For many years, the National Honor Society has been represented by high-performing individuals whose goal is to serve the community around them. Though these aspects of NHS are very important, they do not fully encompass the true impact that this organization has on the individual members, their school, and the public. Throughout my years within the organization, I have learned a multitude of lessons that stem beyond servitude and academic success. The National Honor Society taught me how to be a leader that considers the interests of others before my own. It taught me responsibility, as my actions did not simply impact me, but the other members of NHS and everything they stood for. It also gave me the opportunity to work with other students for a common goal that would benefit more than just ourselves. NHS is not simply about the acts of service or achieving academic excellence, but about the impact that those things can have on people other than ourselves and about cultivating a community of people who fight for positive change together. To the newest members of NHS, I commend you for your hard work and excellence that you have demonstrated thus far, and I am so excited to welcome you into this new community. I pledge to maintain high scholastic standing, to hold as fundamental and worthy and untarnished character, to endeavor intelligently and courageously, to be a leader, and to give of myself freely in service to others. In doing so, I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Honor Society. Scholarship. Scholarship is a person's ability to find meaning in the world around them. This pursuit goes far beyond the grades one receives in school. It means making the most of the educational opportunities provided and seeking out learning, not only in school or similar settings, but also personally. Our NHS students are curious and strive to see how the world outside of school connects to the work they do in the classroom. It stems from a desire to contribute to this world in a positive way by building on one's own knowledge, skills, and talent through different experiences. Scholarship means a commitment to lifelong learning. Leadership. Leadership isn't just getting people to do something that they would otherwise be reluctant to do. It is carrying oneself with dignity and taking ownership and responsibility for one's own actions and participation. In order to be a leader of others, our NHS students have demonstrated that they are capable of leading themselves. Leadership means being an agent, someone who takes action and responsibility of your own pathway. It takes hard work to succeed, and the NHS students have shown the strength and persistence to do what is required. Service. Service is the willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or recognition. The satisfaction of volunteering is not found in accumulating hours to satisfy a graduation requirement or for scholarships. It is because our NHS students realize that service builds character, it is a learning opportunity, and it really does make the world a better place. Engaging in meaningful service is driven by a passion for a specific cause or people in need. NHS students are committed to the idea of volunteering their time and abilities to create a better future. Character. Character is the most elemental quality that an NHS member possesses. A person's character isn't measured at one instant in time, but along the continuum of one's life. The right decision is rarely the easy choice one must make. Our ability to make difficult choices is the truest measure of ourselves. Character is something we must practice with utmost fidelity. True character is being able to accept responsibility when we fail and, in doing so, pave the way for future successes. Character also consists of valuing diverse cultures and building relationships that reflect the love of self, but also a concern for others. It is not about praiseworthy or blameworthy behavior, but the personal commitment to ethical and compassionate decision-making that affects oneself and others. Hello, parents, National Honor Society students, National Honor Society inductees and staff. It's Mr. Newberry, your principal, with a short message. Our National Honor Society program at Lakes is an outstanding group of young people who have shown that they have what it takes to be leaders in our world. 
The focus of National Honor Society is on scholarship, service, leadership, and character. And these are all important attributes that we hope our students leave Lakes High School with. This group of students we are honoring tonight has those characteristics and those attributes, and we're very proud of those students. When you talk about success in the future, there are certain indicators of how a student will be successful after they leave high school and after they go to college. We know that when a student goes to college, if they were successful in high school, most likely they're gonna be successful in college. They know how to navigate the educational system. A few years ago, uh, Pixar Animation Studios came out with their hiring process uh, and I was intrigued to find out that one of their criteria for hiring people to work in their animation department was previous success. It didn't matter if that success was related to movies or animation or computers or anything like that. Their criteria was success at doing whatever they were doing. And they did that because they knew people who were successful had the attributes to be successful at whatever they do, all right? They had that scholarship. If they didn't know something, they would study it. They served others. They worked in teams and helped each other out. They had leadership when they needed it. And they had the character to pick themselves up and to work hard and to keep going. I'm sure all you National Honor Society inductees have those characteristics. So we're very proud of you at Lakes High School, and you're gonna be successful in the future because you've been successful in the past and you know what to do. So congratulations, National Honor Society inductees. I thank you for your hard work. Welcome parents, siblings, and others who are watching this video honoring your student and thank you for tuning in. Every year, the sponsors for National Honor Society ask for a volunteer from the school board to speak at this induction ceremony. And every year, I'm always first to seize this opportunity. It's an honor to be the board's representative at this amazing event. It is truly a pleasure to be part of this ceremony, especially since there are many of you that I knew quite a few years ago, way back in sixth grade. I'm not surprised that you're here being recognized for your unique qualities. And for those of you that I do not know, I'm sure that your former teachers would say the same thing about you. I realize as an educator that you may not always be told every day how much you are appreciated by your teachers and the staff. You just show up and you do the right thing. And you take your job seriously as a student and often go above and beyond expectations. Maybe you think no one notices you, but I assure you they do. You make it a pleasure for your teachers to come to school every day, and your classmates know that you are someone who is willing to help always. This honor is only given to those who are kind, caring, and committed to their role as a student. That would be each and every one of you. Thank you, Ms. Tobin and Ms. Bauer for allowing me to be part of this induction ceremony. I'd like to congratulate each one of you on behalf of the Board of Education. Thank you for who you are and for making Lakes High School such a very special place. Welcome to the National Honor Society and take care.